When we talk about fear being a source of the spirit of racism, one example I can think of is a particular gentleman who had uh, his daughter invite a white friend to his house. This guy was, was a black guy. And uh, she invites this white little girl who's about four years, five years of age. And this guy was so nervous. He started asking his brother, hey, can you help me out? What do white people eat? And he felt so stressed out by the situation that in the end he said, I'm no longer going to invite a white person to my house to sleep over because I don't understand these people. I don't know what they eat. And so what happens is when you've got fear, what fear does is it magnifies difference and we become polarized in a society, right? So what happens is we begin to think that grouping of people over there is so, so different to me. But that's not really the case. The case is you might have difference in tastes, in terms of hobbies, in terms of music, in terms of food, but you actually probably have a lot of similarities. And one of the ways of building rapport with people, the first thing to do is you establish common ground. That's critical. Next thing that you do to overcome prejudice, to overcome racism, is to interact with that grouping of people that you've been polarized from, to interact with them, but to interact with them at the same power level. And this is really important because many people leave it at the point of interaction. Now, if the solution to racism was just interacting with the other group, then um, your white farmers, your black farmers, the farming community will be the least racist. But we know that that's not true, is it? Because it's important to interact with people at the same level of power. So, for example, um, those of us who went to schools that were multiracial and we were prefects as black people over white people and they saw us in authority, for example, you'll find that a lot of people from those kinds of environments are comfortable with the notion of uh, ethnicity, mixing together and so on. Why? The interaction took place at the same level of power. But if you have interaction taking place where you might be spending all day with laborers, but you believe that you're more superior to them and they're not as intelligent as you, that might reinforce your view of those particular people. If you come from an environment where you interact with people from of a different skin color and they always speak a different language to you, dress in a particular way, it might reinforce, if you are not at the same level of power, it might reinforce a sense of prejudice that you already have. So when we think of prejudice, what are we really talking about? Prejudice starts off as a prejudgment. Now, Prejudgments are necessary just to cope in life because you can't always do research concerning any, everything. So, for example, if I need to lift a chair up and I see a lady going and trying to lift it up, I might have a prejudgment that I'm probably physically suitable to actually lift that chair because I'm probably stronger than her because I'm male and she's female. And that's okay. She'll probably think I'm being a gentleman. But as I go there and she tells me, Paul, this is how much I can actually bench press. And I see that she's actually physically stronger than me. If I insist that I'm stronger than her on the basis that I am male and she's female, then my prejudgment has become prejudice. And we see it happening so often, don't we? When we have people saying things like, uh, don't do business with that group of people because they are like that. Even when they have seen examples of those people, not actually fulfilling that prejudice that they believed, okay? Well, what is happening? Their prejudgment has become prejudice, okay? And you'll hear them saying things like, well, the reason that person is doing it because of the school they went to, or the reason they're doing it is because they're close friends with that other person from that other people group. That's prejudice. Instead of actually facing the truth that not everyone from that ethnic group is like that.